A school bus stop near a visible homeless camp in the woods. It is just the latest bus stop related concern for some parents in Martin County. We've already told you about the 90 bus stops that were eliminated. Now some families are telling News Channel 5's Alyssa Hyman that their bus stop has been moved and the new location isn't safe. And Alyssa's joining us with more now. Alyssa. Well, Kelly, the kids living in the Spring Tree neighborhood used to be picked up inside their gated community. Well, this year that's changed. The district telling me it was a safety hazard for the buses to drive through the community. But the parents say the new bus stop is far from safe. This spot along this busy portion of US 1. This is where they want little kids to be walking and waiting. It's where steward dad Marco Quinn says his 11 year old now has to wait for the school bus. It just doesn't make sense to any of us. Well, the speeding cars and lack of traffic signals are concerning enough. O'Quinn is equally worried about this, a visible homeless camp in the wooded area near his son's new bus stop. The safety of the kids is not being put first. But that's only half of why this Martin County parent is frustrated. You have to walk out of our development. You have to walk down US 1. His nine year old is one of the 600 Martin County students whose bus stop was eliminated because they live within two miles of their school and their walking route is no longer considered hazardous. They're saying that kids from six to 10 years old in elementary school that that's an acceptable route at 630 in the morning. Pretty aggravated. Anna Nettles third grade granddaughter is in a similar boat. The bus is no longer an option, but they say walking isn't either. They drive crazy sometimes. Sometimes they go really speeding by. Or at least come look at the situation and give us a real reason why this is being done. Now the district says it does not get funding for bus stops that don't meet the state statute criteria, but the district is offering this year a fee based transportation option, but that could cost parents more than $400 a year for their children to ride the bus if their bus stop was eliminated. Reporting live tonight in the newsroom, Melissa Hyman, News Channel 5.